So the key to peaking your physical shape for finals, two power tips, and none of them should be revolutionary, but just hopefully a friendly reminder. So if you've been on our program for the majority of the year, it's a pretty high volume program in, in terms of how, as far as how football strength and conditioning programs go. So you've been putting in the work. Now's the time where we really want to strip back the volume. We're not working on your work capacity in these areas or not even really looking to develop uh, each quality. What we are trying to do is just make sure we're well in tune with our strength, with our power, our change of direction, our running skills. So we're sharpening up all the work that we've been doing over the last nine, eight months that you've been on the program. So now's not the time to grind. It's the time for intent and intensity. So to allow for high quality intent, which is just your focus when you're in the gym for every rep and every exercise, rest periods and rest days are critical. Okay, so I highly recommend if you're not doing it already, some of you do have multiple sports and other activities to try and prioritize two full rest days throughout the week where you're not exerting yourself physically. So maybe there's some active recovery, like a light bike ride or some light cross training or going for a walk. That's no problem at all. Bit of movement's good, but you're not pushing yourself from a conditioning sense or from a strength and power point of view. You're not looking for an adaptation or a stimulus. So two days on the program, you'll see that will be on our Monday and Sunday. Okay, so not including, obviously, game day, which is a day off the program, but game day is our biggest load for the week. So Mondays and Sundays, take the rest. That's the power tip. Make sure you take those rest days. Be disciplined with it. Don't just do the work for for the sake of doing the work because you've been doing it for some time. Actually take those rest days. And you'll notice a profound effect that it has on your motivation and your training quality and intensity in your football. And then power tip number two, is have cluster sets up your sleeves. So I'm not programming cluster sets at the moment due to the rep ranges are quite low, anywhere between four to six reps. However, have them up your sleeve if you're feeling like you need them. So it's just having that up your sleeve to limit that grind, those slow reps where you're using a lot of energy and that is what can drain our nervous system potentially the next day. So at this time of year, we want all our reps to be nice and punchy and fast to ensure that we're priming your nervous system. So for example, on Tuesday, we've got a set of five, five sets on the box squat. You've got a set of five, a set of five, and then two sets of four, and then the last set is a, a rep range of two to four. How you use a cluster set, let's say you do your first five, feels pretty good. Your second set of five, you do a three, then you rack up the bar, you wait 20 seconds, and then you finish off your two. So you've clustered that set, you've broken it up into two mini sets. Then you do another four at a heavier weight, you smash that, and then you have second set of four that fourth set on of your working set, you do a two and a two or a three and a one, for example. Same with the bench press on Wednesday. The same rep schemes and you can follow the same thing.